What happened? I think I kept it too long. It's okay. It's boiled eggs. Yeah, but I don't want them too hard. Oh. Hmm. I want to get all the yummy, you know, all the yummy thing with the egg. The yolk? The yolk. Yeah, you cook it too long for that. Do you want some tea? Sure. Did you have your breakfast already? Oh yeah. No, don't picture me like this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I won't. <laughs> the least flattering moment. <laughs> you look good to me. I look good to you. I can't tell. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like this too. So. Yeah. So. Oh, can we finish this or we start this? Whatever you want. Mm. That looks delicious. Mm. Frozen blueberries. I forgot to defrost them. <laughs> you are too preoccupied with explaining my mom how to get eggs. Yeah. Is that what was happening? Yeah. So I've been buying these eggs uh, at Whole Foods and mm -hmm. they are organic eggs and they're very good. I mean, they taste good and they are cheap actually. There are things in Whole Foods that you can find for a good price, like reasonable price. Other things, just too much. Mm. How is it? This cake roll is amazing. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. We made this together last night. I'll try to show a close up. Yeah. So here it is. It's gluten free. It's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna fall? <laughs> Maybe at the end you can take it. No, I already did. I okay. was just trying to be cute. Okay, go ahead. How is it? It's good. I was saying it's gluten free and sugar free. We use stevia to sweetenize it. Is that is that even a verb to sweet to sweeten to sweeten it to sweeten it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. How is it with the blueberries? Mm. Can I try it? Mm -hmm. I mean, well, to get the full flavor, the blueberries need to be a bit more melted. Mm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about our upcoming travels. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna? Because mm -hmm. I saw your suit. I mean, I showed your suitcases okay. in the room. Well, some people pick it up from the last video. Mm -hmm. We are indeed going to Italy. It should it should be like we're going to Italy. No. Okay. Okay, we're, so we're going to Italy. Mm. Why are we going to Italy? Mm. I want blueberries. Just a second. I'm gonna cut myself another delicious. Do you want some more? Actually, no, no, I'm okay. 
gonna put them on top. Is there any blueberries in Italy? No. Uh, this very easy? Not really. Really in the mountains. Uh, Did I stain my pants? Yeah, there, there, there are blueberries. Are there? But you cannot find it. Yeah. Easily. No. <clears throat> Mostly cherries and strawberries and mm. uh, blackberries. Like it looks like a um, like caviar on a piece of uh, black bread and butter. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It looks like cake. Mm. It looks a like big caviar. I prefer that. Yeah, me too. Actually, I've been craving caviar because of that yeah, show. Yeah, me too. Me too. We've been watching Alone, um, which is like a survival show. Mm -hmm. like they eat a lot of fish and fish eggs too. It made me crave them so bad. Mm. But okay, go on. Why are we going to Italy? Well, our priority has been all along to escape the Canadian winter and um, to escape, I mean, we basically, we've been in many places and we concluded that uh, the Mediterranean climate is the best. <laughs> Which is the climate both you and I grew up in. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's your Indian DNA. It's in our DNA. Yeah, it's, it's normal. Yeah. Exactly. And, and um, since you already have an apartment there. Exactly. We're gonna go there and enjoy Can I make life an there. Argument with you guys? You wanna make an argument with yeah. us? <laughs> okay, at least come closer. Roll your chair. <laughs> <laughs> because if you are ex escaping from somewhere, uh, it won't be any pleasant, or it won't be the real excitement or real life uh, changing. Escape. No not the right word. Maybe you're right. Escape is not the right word. Um, but the feeling is escape. Yeah. At this point, it doesn't feel anymore ex escape. It's, it feels more like a choice to live somewhere else. Like what about you, Sadie? Is it escape or...? I mean, we tried living here. Like, I came here when I was 16 and now I'm 25 and I haven't, I don't feel good here. And why do I want to live the rest of my life where I don't feel good? Like half of the year, I'm depressed as hell. And I never had it so bad before, before coming here. And you know, I've gone to so many psychiatrists and all they can say is, okay, here's a pill or let us give you some therapy. But in the end, if it's the place that's causing a certain symptom, mm -hmm. You know, how beneficial is it to treat the symptom? Yeah. Yeah? You try uh, other places and you change. Immediately I feel Immediately. better. Okay. It's true. It's just you not. You learn yourself. But I just, I'm uh, telling you, uh, the word is escape is escape. For her, it's not because she's going. In a way, though, when, when I think about certain moments when, um, for instance, so we were you know, there was a lockdown, so we had to spend winter here. And I remember those days when the wind blows uh, so strong and so cold to make it like minus 20 or minus 25. And uh, you just go downstairs across, across from, uh, from our building, there is a supermarket. And then you feel that, you really feel like you want to escape this. Like I really feel, oh my gosh, if I can go and jump on the first flight, yeah. to a, a warmer place, I would do it. So in that case, you have that feeling, feeling of escaping mm -hmm. a situation where it, which is not And you are living all the time in that uh, moment, in that moment? Like what do you because mean, in that feeling? In that feeling and in that moment, um, moment, because it's not always the same here too. Doesn't matter, other places too. Um, there are other things that make me want to leave this place, escape it. It's like, for instance, when I'm uh, stuck in traffic. In Toronto you didn't used to be like that. It's becoming super, like... Uh, it's becoming like Istanbul. 
Exactly. Yeah, that reminds me of Istanbul. Can I yeah. tell you something? Mm -hmm. uh, while you were telling about traffic, about this, about that, and I want to escape. Mm -hmm. Because I was in Istanbul and mm -hmm. I was thinking to escape there because mm. of the governmental things. Everyone uh, make abuse to each other. Everybody yargılamak ne demek? Everybody's judgmental. Ah, judgmental too much to e each other. And I was thinking to escape, escape mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the world. And I yeah. escaped from there. Yeah. But I couldn't find any better here because escape feeling you cannot uh, run away from something. Mm -hmm. You're saying there's always going to be something, something else to else. run away from. Yeah, yeah. Well, then we're choosing the best of two demons, I guess. <laughs> because, um, like, I guess in Italy, some of the problems, maybe it's too isolated, or there aren't any restaurants around, or... Not Italy, where we're going. Where we're going, yeah, I should clarify. Like, it's like a little small town in southern Italy where her parents live and she has an apartment yeah it's not a city of course it doesn't have those you know yeah. luxuries yeah but still still like after spending a year in Toronto we've been here like through the winter and the summer and I don't want to be here anymore it's not good for my health yeah. like it's not good for my spirit to be stuck here um, yeah I, I'd rather go back there like that's that's our and you had a experience for a year yeah. You know what you are expecting and what, what you are going to find. And yeah. it's good. But we are going to try to make it warmer in the house because it was freezing in the house before. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Simple things makes us happy in the life. Yeah. What we, we uh, sometimes we lose our uh, main uh, compass. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes. A point of reference. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And you know, watching that show, oh, this kind of brings oh, yeah. it full circle. So we're the show alone, you know, that mm -hmm. we're watching, where they're just trying to survive by themselves in the woods. It's like it brings it back to the reality of the human experience, yeah. where all that matters in that moment is getting water or getting food or yeah. having yeah. a warm shelter. And after those main needs are met. The next need is they start missing their families. Yeah, like yeah. They start missing people. Yeah. So that's the social need. But after you meet all of those, the only thing that's left is how do you want to spend your time? How mm -hmm. do you want to spend the time between having your next meal? Mm -hmm. You know, the next survival need. What mm -hmm. do you want to do in between? Mm -hmm. um, and that's what like the human experience is all mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to pick our our city wisely, mm -hmm. you know, so we can be in a place where, okay, I, I prefer spending my time here doing these things mm -hmm. rather than here yeah, doing yeah. these things. You are right. Now mm -hmm. our needs are changing, especially personally. Uh, me, myself, mm -hmm. I'm retired. Yeah. Now I don't take city anymore. Mm -hmm. And like You wouldn't want to go back to Istanbul, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I don't want to go back to Istanbul, but yeah. I want to go back to my country yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a very uh, warm and uh, pleasant place mm -hmm. and we have a lot, maybe a small village near to, uh, to the sea, mm -hmm. uh, I can swim because I love swim and uh, I like to grow flowers, maybe I can grow flowers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I look I love to look at them, and maybe I can go back to Turkey. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful place. Like it's beautiful. That's and if you don't uh, think about the governmental issues, school issues, work, this and that, it's the best place. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Like it's as beautiful, if not more beautiful, than where we're going. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is in southern it's Italy. It's more beautiful, I believe. I'm sorry. Turkish versus mm. Italian. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's more beautiful. The They're, Aegean and yeah. Mediterranean side, it's it's more beautiful. They don't have e Egypt. E e the Aegean Egypt. side. Yeah. Well, we have other places. Adriatic. You have Adriatic. It's yeah. not the same. I've been there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we all have like similar dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. yeah. yeah. We're going to go but back I'm to not, our uh, nature. Yeah. Like to our to habitat, our, yeah, where we were born. I'm not escaping. 
the word is not right. Escaping. What are you doing then? Because I'm not escaping from here. Here is very nice place. It offers you everything, you know, um, schools, very non cultic way to live, a uh, very helpful government, very strong government. If you are in the certain uh, problems, they are there immediately. Yeah, I'm you, so yeah. much grateful to be here, evolving uh, as a human being here, because you don't have time in Turkey, such a place, you know, chaotic places, you cannot see yourself. It's the best place to get this gratitude. And then you can go around and look for your individual evolution. It's not match anymore. It finished it, uh, itself. But it's a good place. I mean, I'm sorry. That's, yeah. It was too much. No, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. okay. No, I mean, I mean yeah. like if... I hadn't come here, I wouldn't have had a lot of the, I guess, like, lesbian experiences that I've had, meaning, like, <laughs> coming out, feeling comfortable, feeling accepted, that was really good. Um, you, you earn your life from the beginning of your life. Can you imagine? <coughs> she, lo she lose her life until she was 40. Till I was, like, 40, in my 40s. Yeah. Can you imagine if you were in Italy or if you were in, in Turkey? Turkey? Yeah, I know. It would have been difficult. Difficult, very difficult. Yeah. It, it, it would have been a very long time to get there. Yeah. Maybe Turkey uh, more than Italy. Italy is more accepting of um, homosexuality and all of that. But they're making progress even in Turkey now with the young people yeah. Yeah. pushing so hard to yeah. be accepted. But, but I still feel, it's hard. I feel like... Um, Social pressure is the same. Christianity mm -hmm. and Muslim are the same yeah. mentality. It doesn't matter. If you are a humanist, human being, mm -hmm. and you like the differences, and you are accept the differences, it's a different thing. And Canada is the best place for this uh, kind of different people mm -hmm. accept. What interests in me is the way I feel Mm. When I go back as an individual, when I go back to Italy, and uh, all of a sudden I have to, uh, I have to face my demons, which I left behind when I came to Canada. Because mm -hmm. when I came to Canada, I also felt that openness, which gave me the right platform where I could come out, and I was so ever grateful for yeah. that. Canada made me who I am today. But when I go back. All of a sudden, I feel that rigidity again within me. Mm -hmm. And I remember like uh, two years ago when we went to, uh, when, or even a few years ago when I opened up to my parents, I'm, I'm gay, I like women and so on. Then they start saying a little bit around and my, the response from my relatives is, so what's wrong with that? Okay, she's coming here, there are so many lesbian couples here and there that we know, it's fine. You know, they were answering that. And yet, going back there, it brings back into me all those Your memories. fears and, yes. yeah, and I but become But they are rigid. not real. Are but they're not real, it's yeah. in, my, in yeah. my mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now you are aware it's going to be more easier. It is, yeah. yeah. So going back for me is actually in a way... Healing. It's healing and it's, it gives me the possibility to be myself where I couldn't be. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Very good. I hope uh, it's going to be the same for me. Yeah. <laughs> I run away from abuse. Now, to go back there, still there are abuse in Turkey. Just pick your friends carefully yeah. and yeah. pick your relationships even more carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really traumatized about relationship. I yeah. cannot go there even, yeah, really, I tried, okay. but I cannot. So, it was very heavy conversation, I'm sorry about <laughs> that. Right. One. So, it's that's key. the kind of conversation we are having almost every day. <laughs> Almost every day, not every day, okay? Well, it's nice. And sometimes we play hide and seek with a cat. <laughs>
Yeah. So now that we've been to um, a lot of other places on the planet, we're going to be more grateful for Italy. So let's go through them a little bit. <laughs> we went to Maui. And it's amazing. amazing. We went to a lot of places in the United States, like Texas and yeah. Sedona. Yeah. Which were also... Why you couldn't stay in, in Hawaii that you are uh, loving? It's so expensive. It. It's so expensive. Oh my God. It's worse than Toronto. Or, or the same, I guess, like almost the same. Yeah. We couldn't make it. Um, maybe one day if we're rich, we can go there. <laughs> <laughs> but only in the winters, you know, because we never, we weren't there in the summer, and they say it's also very, very hot and humid and miserable. Yeah. So I guess the best climate is where we're. This is where we from. Know. born and yeah. rise. Mediterranean. <laughs> this is what. This is what we observed and it's that uh, usually in this continent in this part of the world yeah uh, unless the, well there are places in the United States that are good for all seasons okay? yeah but where we we went uh, it was always good for just a couple of seasons then the other season in order to yeah. be comfortable with the weather you have to just migrate again so mm -hmm. we are very tired with migration <laughs> oh my god yes <laughs> so i'm so ready to like leave all my stuff in one place for yeah. a while i'm so surprised sadie is 25 years old and she, uh, she is so fed up with traveling <laughs> <laughs> okay i was I'm fed up when i was 15 as well I yeah you. I'm 57, still I'm looking for another place just to visit, not to stay for a long time. Traveling is, is the best mm -hmm. experience in my, in, my, in my world. I think it's because you're a Sagittarius. Well, maybe. maybe. I'm a Taurus, I'm like a home, home, home person. Yeah, anyway. And you must be balanced. <laughs> yeah, a Libra. she's a Libra. <laughs> a Libra. Mm. Mm. And I've been a huge, tra like a huge fan of traveling but I had to do it with, for work and passion but yeah I'm uh, mm -hmm. a bit tired of it <laughs> so yeah when so, I'm settling I feel tired <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah. it for this video yeah mm -hmm. thank you thank you for, for joining <laughs> us <laughs> thank you for calling me again I'm sorry about my I mean we had future. to include you you were talking <laughs> off camera like mm. oh. Lovely. Bye. See you next time. Bye.